Good morning, I'm Alondra. And I'm Alexis. And welcome, welcome to, to PAC TV. Good morning, Wolfpack. Welcome to PAC TV. There's a lot of excitement in the air. We are now approaching the end of the first semester with only two and a half weeks until winter break. Hopefully, you all had an amazing weekend. Today's inspirational quote comes from Serena Williams. A champion is defined not by their wins, but how they recover when they fall. Now on to the announcements. Teachers and students, today will be club and fall sport picture day. Students, the list of pictures that are being taken will be posted around the building. Please look at the list to see when your club and sport pictures are scheduled. Students that are interested in joining the Science Olympic team should all attend in the international meeting on Thursday, December 6th. All grade levels are eligible to participate. 11th and 12th grade students, do you want to earn college credit while still in high school? If you're a junior or senior, you are eligible to take dual enrollment academic success seminar class in the spring performance of 2018 to 2019. Students will earn one high school credit and three college credits. This class is free and only one semester. There is no GPA or ACT requirement. Seniors, if you will be attending the Southwest Tennessee Community College in the fall, this class is especially beneficial to you. Please see Ms. Cameron, freshman counselor, for more information. Applications due Monday, December 10th. Spaces are limited. Attention seniors, Herf Jones Graduate Services will be on campus to take senior cap and gown orders on following dates. Thursday, December 6th at all lunches, Monday, December 10th at all lunches. Please bring your order forms and your $80 deposit. Each week here at Cordova, we like to highlight a special person who's doing great things. In this week's pack profile, we like to highlight head boys coach Terrence Scales. As many as you know, he lost his wife years ago to lupus. To coach, um, basically when I went to college to play basketball, you know, we all go to college with the aspirations of being a professional ball player. And soon reality kicks in that, hey, I'm pretty good, but maybe not good enough to be, you know, a professional. And, you know, when I started thinking about things that I like to do, I just loved the game and I wanted to stay around the game. And, you know, I found myself even throughout college, like being a coach on the floor, you know, talking and in the huddles talking. And, you know, my father's a coach and it's just been in my system, you know, my entire life. You know, here at Cordova, we work extremely hard. You know, behind the scenes, there's a lot of work that goes into it. My only expectation of a player is just to give me everything you got. Play hard, play smart, and play tough. My wife passed away in 2014 due to complications from lupus. And it was a, an ongoing battle, you know, that uh, she succumbed. So when she was diagnosed, I started to research and find out more about it. And once she passed away, you know, I just, I decided that we have to do something about it to bring more uh, notoriety to this disease. In my own little way, I wanted to represent her and, uh, and, and do something in my own way and bring awareness, you know, to the disease and help raise funds. The thing that this entire experience has taught me is, the first thing it's taught me is that, you know, I think that I'm a lot stronger than I thought I was, you know. Um, deal with the loss of a spouse, you know, that's one of the hardest things that, you know, you deal with. It's taught me to, like, value every second of every moment. And just taught me to, you know, that you can persevere. You know, it's taught me to be extremely thankful and grateful for what I do have. Uh, and just, just be thankful for life. What is something you would tell someone who is going through this or know someone close to them who is? The first thing I would tell you Listen to them. Don't look too far ahead. You know, I think a lot of time we we spend a lot of time either.
focusing on the future or thinking about your past and we don't focus on the present. So I like to live present. You know, let's focus on the here and now um, and do the right things here and now that will lead to a, a great future. Seniors, make sure you complete the FAFSA. It is a requirement if you plan on attending a post-secondary institution. If you plan on utilizing the Tennessee Promise Scholarship, you need to complete it by February 1st. However, the earlier the better. So please put this high on your priority list. See Mrs. Lee if you have any questions. Students, are you interested in working this week? Do you want to earn up to $1,600 tax-free and work only six weeks? The City of Memphis Mopoy Summer Youth Program will be taking applications for summer employment you must be at, uh, at least 14 years of age the program starts june 3rd and ends july 12th application must be submitted online only the job posting will be open saturday december 1st and will be closed monday december 31st at 11 59 p.m no applications will be accepted after that time no exceptions applications will be selected for employment through a lottery process if you are interested see miss cameron freshman counselor for more information Recently, Cordova High Choir hosted their 2018 fall concert, and here are the highlights of that show. for patients or bears for babies for, to room 126 for community service. Credit by Wednesday. PAC TV would like to incorporate the Wolfpack, so if you have any source suggestions, please email them to us at pactv 3 at gmail.com. Now on to the birthday list. Birthday. Birthday. Somebody in here, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Somebody in here, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Watching PAC TV. TV.